You don't work. You don't eat. No master. No shackle feet. No surrender. Take your destiny. The newest as well as the closest plots to the Greater Southern Waterfront we are heading up to this project called Cambridge Hill Residences we're going to show you a 5 beta strata lander at a very attractive asking price of $3.7 million bringing the per square foot to be in the range of $1,900 odd range 8 to 9 minutes walking distance to the Pasir Panjang MRT station that will increase the connectivity for residents staying here Join Property Brothers as we head up to this beautiful home tour right here at Cambridge Hill Residences Let's go! Right, so this is one of the entrances for this 5 beta strata lander. So where I came from is actually from the facilities area. Very nice small little patio space. So this can be very convenient if let's say you know you kind of want to have this as a good segregation for yourself. Otherwise this can be a guest room. Very well isolated without any steps coming from the car porch area. Two panels wardrobe tucked towards here with a mixture of hanging racks as well as pull-out drawers. Big enough for you to place in a queen size. Last but not least, your standing shower, your WC, as well as your basin. With storage cabinets at the top as well as the bottom. Ventilation window is already tucked right outside here. In the meantime, I'm going to bring you towards the other entrances because this is leading us directly towards the car porch area. It comes with your very own car park lot. This is wide enough for you to park two cars. But on the floor plan, what you're paying for is only for the space for one car park lot. For your space is very decent. Your DB box is right over here. Your home shelter is tucked towards here. So all your clutters as well as daily necessities can be placed towards here. In the meantime, why don't we head up and we share more with you. Alright, so where I'm standing right now, this is wide span living as well as dining. But before we dive deep in terms of the floor plan, what we're going to do is to help you understand in terms of this location because where Cambridge Hill Residences is located is right along South Buena Vista Road. And on the other side, there will be along Jalan Mat Jumbo. From Jalan Mat Jumbo, it's about 8 to 9 minutes walking distance. Bring us towards Pasir Panjang MRT Station and 3 stops towards Harbour Front. On the other side, 3 stops that will bring us towards 1 North, which is the tech hub of Singapore. Of course, when we take a look at D5 right now, you are still having the first mover advantage because all the Greater Southern Waterfront transformation have yet to take shape. It will gradually take shape over the next couple of years. You can buy into something that is newly TOP, say for the next 10 years, enjoy the transformation and then after that, you can of course upgrade or you can change in terms of your portfolio planning, move to somewhere else while still enjoying the kind of advantage that you have right over here. Now coming back to the development itself for Kenridge Hill Residences, if you notice, this is actually sitting on a relatively big plot of land. 500 over units, split from one bidder all the way to a five bidder as well as a strata lender. For strata lender, you have two different types, four bidder strata lender as well as a five bidder strata lender. Only about 50 units out of that 10 over units belongs to the five bidder strata lender. For this unit, this is internal facing and this is fronting towards southwest. You don't get much of the west sun coming in because you have all these overhanging structure as well as shooting off from the opposite blocks. What you are getting is this very nice pool view, palm trees that lines up along this entire enclave. We're going to play some B-roll to let you enjoy what are some of the facilities right here before we kickstart the home tour. Now for this unit, 2067 square feet. Of course, this accounts for some of the void areas such as your car park space, as well as the void space that is just right above the staircase that's leading up to level two. All in, if you were to less off the void area, that accounts to only about 200 over square feet. Internal livable space is still 1,800 odd square feet, which is quite comfortable for a five beta. 
from this living hall and dining hall, naturally you can place in a three-seater, additional two-seater right over here. Big enough for your family. Good distance from the sofa area towards the TV. If let's say you want to increase your storage space, you can line up this entire area to be a TV feature wall that double up as your gadget storage space. Right over here is your dry kitchen. Some of the things that you want to do is you can either retain this. Recess area has already been done. You can grab a quick meal right over here. Dining will be right over there. Let's say you want to kind of have the dining table right here. You can do so, double this up as your island top as well as the dining table. You can convert this area as a secondary living area or a play area for the kids. I think because the space is pretty big, what you have is about 5.5 meters, floor to ceiling is 3.2 meters. You have this gorgeous glass panel that allows a lot of light coming in. So you can expand this entire space to accommodate up to an apex. You're getting just nice, a good enough space for you to put in some outdoor set, enjoy the balcony, enjoy the breeze. What you can do is you can zip track up the whole entire place, further expand the space out. Once you do that, I think this will make a perfect space for your hosting needs. We're going to head in towards the kitchen first. You have this additional storage space right at the bottom of the dry kitchen as you move on. Very beautiful glass wrapping around these L-shaped cabinets. If you do not want to have this enclosure, of course, what you can do is you can just tear it down, make it into those open concept. Visually enlarge the space, but otherwise, I don't think you need that because all these are already done up with glass. You're seeing right over here, more storage space at the bottom as well as the top. What we love is that you have all these switches already concealed nicely. Gaggenau appliances for the oven, your stove top, induction as well as your hood. Backsplash are all done up in house for easy maintenance. All these hooks are already done up by the developer, so there's a lot of nice touch. Two door fridge that is extremely big. As we move on towards the back, that will be towards your yard area where you have your washer, you can mount up to a dryer, and your WC is right on the outside. Right over here, of course, is another entrance that comes in from level one. So in this unit, you have three different entrances coming from the basement one, the facilities area from the car porch area, last but not least on level one coming from the yard area. Been at it already, had my tarot read. Things are looking up for me, that's what my tarot said. Common bath is tucked right over here, so it's great for your guests to use. If you have a standing shower tucked right on the inside, the WC as well as your basin, with storage cabinets at the top and the bottom. Go find me a snow bunny, ask if this cold. We're gonna show you the very second common bedroom. Now, this is fronting towards rock walk area. Of course, this is back to back facing, and uh, what you can do is if you want to kind of maintain your privacy, we have those kind of bottom up blinds where the entire blinds comes down and then it allows lights coming in from the top while still maintaining the level of privacy. This carpet is almost the size of a queen size bed. Of course, you see a space for you to head in towards your wardrobe area. Alternatively, if let's say you want to scale it down to a super single, then definitely the space is big enough. We're going to head up to the second floor. New cards, new deck, new light. King of Cups, he comes up right. Always, all days, all night, see you. I think it's quite similar to that of an inter terrace when we talk about lights coming in there's quite a lot of limitation but I think what the developers have done brilliantly is that you have two panels of window right over there as well as this very beautiful skylight right above me so you get a very nice brightness to illuminate the entire second floor we're gonna show you the smaller bedroom first lonely hearts watching all these little men try and be bone apart and make the rest of us deal with their broken parts uh. Despite evil, I like people. Put your hand this is like a longer than usual mattress, probably suitable for Mark. But even so, you have a big enough space, space for on both the left and right. Just right behind me, the higher floor units are right up towards the back of the development. So in this way, it also allows a lot of natural light coming in while not affecting the brightness coming into the whole entire bedroom. Very nice ceiling height as well, you don't feel claustrophobic. And you have two panels of wardrobe. See, do I, do I, do I. New cards, new deck, new life. King of Cups, he comes up right. Coming to the fourth bedroom, this is quite similar. Of course, right now this is currently empty, but similarly, you can place in a queen size bed. Two panels of wardrobe already tucked towards here. This is a Jack and Jill concept, similar setup. You have the storage cabinets at the top, bottom, your WC, your standing shower, as well as your basin. I'm gonna show you the master. 
you have four panels of wardrobe tucked over here. So this is kind of like your walk-in wardrobe space, big enough for you to put in additional stuff. Standing shower, rain shower, WC, as well as your basin. All these are hanging WCs, creates a more luxurious vibe. Huge ventilation window tucked towards here. Master space is extremely comfortable. You can place in a king size. These are longer than usual kind of mattresses. Huge panel of windows. You still have ample of space. If you were to do up a wardrobe space, it's probably going to be slightly wider than my shoulder width and you still have ample of space to walk around. Another thing that we really love about this development is that you do not have big balconies. The only sound that you can hear is probably the aircon compressor. Not even the sound of the water trickling down. So this is such a peaceful and quiet environment. Now let's say today you're on the market looking for a 5 bidder in the District 5. We're going to help you to dissect in terms of what are some of your options. At this current juncture, you might be thinking, Hey George, I'm paying 2,000 over square feet. That includes the void space. If you're less off the void space, that will bring your entire square footage about 1,800 odd square feet. Based on this asking price of $3.7 million, that will bring the PSF to be around 1,700 odd dollars range. If you're the less off the void space, that will bring the PSF to be 1,900 odd dollars range. If we compare floor plan to floor plan for Normentum Park, typical 5 meter layout is hovering between 1,005 to about 1,700 odd square feet. Even if you do less of the void space, overall square footage is still standing at about 1,800 square feet. They are asking at about 3.7 to 3.8 million dollars as we take a look at Jaden. Expected launch price to be in the range of about 2,005. I think at 1,900 odd dollars range, this is a very good entry price. If your time horizon is going to be the next 8 to 10 years, you'll get to enjoy the transformation that is taking shape at the Greater Southern Waterfront. Right at the back of this entire condo development, you have a side gate that leads you towards the park area. Of course, on the other side, they will bring you towards Labrador Park as well as the entire waterfront promenade. And not forgetting that you have the Tolo Blanca Hill as well as the Mount Faber Hill. For recreational purpose, I think these are some of the places that you and your family can get to enjoy. Otherwise, head down towards Sentosa, which is just a short driving distance away, as well as the huge mega mall, Vivo City. Most importantly, this is also right smack in the middle of two business districts. One is the CBD and Jurong Lake District. This enjoying a very early first mover advantage where you can to buy into this place at 1900 odd dollars PSF enjoy the kind of rejuvenation and how we foresee D5 to be transforming is just exactly like how District 15 has been transforming over the past few years you have all the schools such as Singapore Polytechnic NUS school all these are within close proximity towards where we are located you will definitely get to enjoy the rejuvenation as well as conveniences few years down the road Dead to me, RIP buried. Moody did it more on the side of head of me. Dead to me, RIP buried. Moody could go go get so you get passing at a pity. And so you come to the end of this beautiful home tour right here at Cambridge Hill Residences. For this strata landed 5 beta standing at 2,000 over square feet, asking price at $3.7 million. PSF, $1,700 odd dollars range. Of course, if you're the minus off the void space, $1,900 odd dollars range. Extremely good entry price in today's market. I think you should come by here, have a physical viewing. Do get in touch with our listing team. The contact details are down below. Subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. My name is Josh Payne from Property Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. That time I take the nuggets on the go, I didn't know. I see on one side the camera like that, then the light like that. <laughs> then when I turn, then this side low bang. After that, Daniel says, hey bro, you better change seat. So that's why now I'm always sitting here. 2,000 over square feet. Okay, then you bureau, 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 bureau. So you bureau all the units first because we're going to talk about location. 